Hello and welcome to CAD Graphics Tutorials. Today we'll be learning how to use the Stress Analysis tool, which is a very handy tool. Okay, to start off, you'll need to have a complete part or assembly. In this case, I've used a wooden table. Okay. With your complete part or assembly, you will need to identify the material of it. In this case, I've used wood, oak, as is the wooden table. Okay, before we start, you have the chance and change in the view to orthographic or perspective. Personally, I prefer orthographic. Okay, head to environments, and then you should see a stress analysis, which is like multicolored one. Now that you're in stress analysis, head to create simulation, and then just go straight to OK. All right, to put a force or pressure on table, first you'll need to constrain the bottoms of the end, the ends here. First, look for constraint, which is constraints. Right click on it and fix constraints. I'll constrain the bottom. There's all the four constraints done. And press OK. Right, now that they've been constrained, you can now put a force on. Click to force, just click wherever you want the force to act down on. I would want it on the top of the table. There you go. You can now type in how much Newton force you want, which Newtons is the uh, what force is measuring. So 100 Newtons I'll do. And OK. Right. Now we just hit the simulate button and then run simulation. Just wait for it to load. Yeah, you can tell where the brake's going to go. The safety factor, your displacement here, as you can see here, it's 0 0.02 mils out of displacement. It's going to be when 100, 100 newtons of force is going to be applied. Also, you can take a look at the stress on each angle. Displacement again, just more accurate. And then strains. That is how you use stress analysis. Thank you.